again, folks. Hello, we're back. God damn it. Yes, we're back. I am the autistic chef, David Leahy, and this asshole is the boxing. And we're again, we're back, and this time we are making a personal favorite of mine, jambalaya. So let's get to work. So we're gonna do a lot of chopping here. We're so screwed. Yep, yeah, this is the meat we're using, folks. And there's more over there and more over here. We're we're going way all out with this thing. I think we're gonna kill somebody. I'm kind of now I'm kind of scared. You know I'm a little bit scared about how much we're using this time. You know I'm a little bit scared actually how much we're using. Yep. I'm a little bit nervous we're using this much meat. I'm a little bit nervous myself. I'm like oh shit. Are we? So we're gonna do a lot of chopping here. So we're gonna go step by step how everything want, how everything's gonna be chopped. So let's do our garlic coil sauce. Is that the one going to? Yep, they're both right. Okay, let's start first. You can chop. You need to start chopping some of this side. I'll show you how you, how you do it. Just it's really simple. So I'm just gonna give him a quick two things chop. I'm gonna use this knife because my favorite knife. Hey, Kirsten. Hi, Manuel. How you doing, guys? So we're gonna go really nuts here with the uh, with the meat content in this thing. It's, we can't do we can't do shrimp. And so I'm not I'm not able to eat shrimp. Which sucks. So we're gonna do instead of doing shrimp, we're gonna go a little bit crazy with the meat content, which is fine. Also, turn on our rice. So, what's up, Ryan? How you doing? People got a few people watching already. Nice. It's gonna go right, right down the middle with this. I actually do enjoy the smell of garlic sausage. I know you love anything, anything sausage. No, nah, that would be you. Shut up. <laughs> so we gotta peel off the uh, skin here. Just gonna chuck in the garbage. Oh, garbage is behind me. So, so, and then we're just gonna just kind of do a bias cut here, like big chunks. You want big chunky pieces of this? See, like this. Do me a favor. Can you uh, grab a couple a couple buckets from up, up there? A bucket right here. Ow! Don't do that either. Ouch! Didn't hit myself, but still scary though. I'm scared. Okay, that is like really bad kitchen safety right there. Okay? Yeah, don't just, don't do what I did, kids. I'm just being an idiot. Don't do what I did. I'm being stupid. Stupid is if you're gonna have if a knife falls, let it fall. Don't ever carry catch a knife. Exactly, folks. So what do you want to do for the next video? Uh, I still have to figure out. Uh, what are we going to do with that burger one? Oh yeah, that's right. If, uh, or if a message is on my, my friend Carmen Martinez, you hear this message? Yeah, <laughs> I want to try to, I want to try to figure out like a nice barbecue sauce for it. Do, uh, how about something smoky? Like, uh, like a Chipotle maybe. That'd be nice. Chipotle yeah. maybe. That would give it some, how about like a Chipotle honey barbecue sauce. So sweet and, and smoky. Oh yeah. That'd be nice. I'm gonna go really nuts with the meat, with the, uh, the toppings though. Onion rings. I'm gonna do a lot of crazy stuff with that one. Hi Sandra, how you doing? I'm in my, I'm, in my, I'm wearing my pajamas because what the hell, I want easy. It's one of those days. The pajamas go great with patostas. Pardon? Pajamas go great with patostas. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's, the Vosca is, is really bad puns again. Oh boy. You're going to hear a lot of that tonight. It ain't the last time you hear a couple puns from the guy. Yeah, in fact, every song you hear about wearing them is his pajama. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm about to pajama with a knife in your head, because it's... No, I won't. If you were Bob Marley, you would be pajamming. Oh, hey, there you go. Yeah, I would be. And I hope you like pajamas yeah, man, too. What a love. Oh, no one's watching now. Oh, whatever. You guys all suck. You're not watching. You gotta get on the list again. Be careful. Don't piss off the boss. Disco. May put you on the list again. Remember that? 
Oh yeah, I remember last time. You might put you on the list again. Be careful. Don't piss off the boss yet. He might just put you on the list. Hi Willow, how are you doing? I see that people are watching actually. Well, actually you've been watching our shit. I don't believe people are actually watching our shit. I don't believe it. It's a freaking miracle. Wait, well, they're watching our shit. Why is why are we on the toilet? I don't know. People are actually watching us. Hi Willow. And people are actually watching us. I don't believe it. We're actually really that entertaining? I think we're that entertaining, are we? No. Or, or maybe they're just that bored. Yeah, they're just that bored, yeah. Which is that bored, eh? So we got our sausage here. I think I started posting that she just wanted me to love this one, so. Yeah, like y'all have y'all. She did mmm sausage. Should I say something or no? I always we know how much you love sausage, Willow. We know how much Willow loves the sausage. Oh yeah. Oh, hi yo. Woohoo! Oh, I wonder if she's, if she's sausage that's coming. Oh, there we go. There, there, bad prep. There one from. Uh, uh oh, we got a few. few oh, we got some reactions. Uh oh, now she's pissed. Got a few reactions. Yep. Okay, there we go. That's just rare. We actually don't get that many of these. Don't get that many of these. What the hell? That's weird. I don't have never gotten that many of these ever in these videos. So there's a lot of chopping involved in this stuff. There's a lot of chopping involved in this. A lot of prep. And but at the end of the day, will it cut the mustard? Yep, it will. Definitely will. This definitely cuts the mustard, in my opinion. People say this is a really good recipe. It's really good. People say they really like the recipe. They say it's not too spicy, but just enough kick to... Got just enough kick to it that, it, that it's nice. That's what it's supposed to be, right? Also, I find that the ice got cold because it has a really nice, it absorbs the... Um, nicely absorbs the, um, the kick and spice nicely. That's why I use it, the colored coil here. Nice absorption level for the uh, for our uh, our cajun spice here. So now we're gonna do our hams. What's up, Gavin? None of people watching. Only smokes. Got actual people watching. Watching. It's a freaking miracle. What? The hell? Son of a beach ball. Second time today. I hate this thing today. You say does it. Ow! And cut myself. Kitchen safety, okay, people? Remember kitchen safety. Danger, danger. Yeah, I'm gonna watch this again. And be careful, don't get too close. I just nick myself, I think, a little bit. Ow! Well, I think at every point, every cook cuts himself. At some point, every cook cuts yeah. himself. And no, folks, it's not a suicidal thing. Sometimes we just make mistakes where, like, our chopping veggies and then a little nick on his thumb or something, so. I'll show you how I want the ham. I'll show you how I want the ham done, and then you can do it. It's really simple, so. It's really simple. Get him doing this on the, get him doing this on the side, so. I'm telling, I'm gonna, we're gonna, working as a team here, a tandem here, so. I'm just gonna. Cut it nice and thick. Like really thick slices here. So then we're just gonna, it's really simple, we're just gonna cut it in like two cubes. Yeah. That's pretty much it. All right, grab another bucket up there. And a bucket right here, actually. Is the bucket from a shirt? For man, man, for madame. Here you go, madame. Bucket. It takes for madame to know madame. <laughs> ha ha ha. Hey, Godzilla, how you doing? Oh, look, it's Godzilla. <laughs> Jackie. Hi, Godzilla, how you doing? You're not getting this. You know what you get in the grocery store? None. That's why I, I hate you, Godzilla. So you get nothing. So, shouldn't be working, Jackie. Get back to work. Doing your your play thing. Get back to work. Eh? But he's not Dogzilla, is he? Pardon? Because um, he's not Dogzilla. If he's Godzilla, he's not Dogzilla. She. Uh, God Dog. She. It's her. So, I have a reason why I call her that. I've known her for, Jackie, for, geez, way too long. 18 years I've been friends with, with that one. Okay, for the record, I have a running gag where whenever, you know, some people will say, oh my god. 
I'll say, oh my god, because that's the origin of me making that joke, okay? So, Alright, no worries. <laughs> uh, just, just in case that some people don't understand where I'm Yeah, alright, 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 all right, no worries. You're like, oh my dog! I'm that ugly! Like that sort of yes, thing. you are the ugly. Let me try to watch my language here. They made the kids on, so let me watch my language a little bit. Today, I want to watch my language for once. Okay, if you don't watch your language, will it be able to tell time? Shut up. Oh god damn. Ay caramba. Alright, I need to go one thing. Hold on a second. Be right back. It's a good ship. Lollipop is a sweet trip to the candy shop where the bonbons play. Oh god, you doing a uh, Joy Temple. Yes, I'm doing it uh, on your Facebook Live while you're getting whatever. You're a dick. Alright, that was good, that was good. Give me that one. Here, you can do that one. The last two, and I'll start working on the uh, farmer. Farmer! Here, you can use this to uh, get to wipe, and wipe off your uh, your counters. So I'm going to have, well we have enough uh, ham to sink a battleship. That's why we're, we'll, we'll, we have enough uh, jambalaya to sink a battleship. That's what we're looking for. Eh? Yeah, and I think everyone will be hammered. Probably. Really hammered. I'm already hammered already. We need to grab the peas, by the way. I know what you love, pea. That will not appease me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I walked into that one. Shit. God damn it, I walked into that one, didn't I? We got a lot of meat here. Holy crap, we're over Hey, hey Ryan, how you doing, buddy? Hey Ryan, how you doing, buddy? I'm not talking for, forever. Ryan, I, I am always a dude. God, he always <laughs> yes, he is. Sorry, Ryan, my friend, my uh, my buddy here is a douche. Yes, he is. He admits it openly, right? Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, Ryan? There were three correct answers to your question. Number one, being the octave down. The number of two, uh, number two, a Disney movie. And number three, a Shania Twain album. <laughs> wow, he's a, he's a guy definitely a nerd. So you're gonna go to the convention again, next one. You going to the next one convention? Hopefully. We're going, definitely we're going, me and Lou. Oh. But if Julia while but if Julia White comes back then um you're good then his only grab is that your responsibility, not mine. Yep, that's fine. And what I'm gonna, I'm hoping for a few people I want to see. Hopefully, Christian Freeman be on my list. I like him. Big Christian Freeman fan. He's um, the guy who does Alucard from uh, Housing Ultimate. That'd be fun. Or uh, I want to meet like Jess Carnell and uh, Trent McNeil. From Animaniacs. I think I missed Reese Marsh last time. I'll get if Reese the Marsh come back. Let me him for sure. That was cool. I, I got to talk to him. I didn't get his autograph. That sucked. I want to meet Billy West? That'd be fun. Walk up the the fry and like, yo fry. I'll go make you stupid. So I'll be no one doesn't. Or Bender from or Bender. That'd be fun to meet Bender. Yeah, I want to meet someone from The Simpsons. Like uh. Nancy Carter, I'll meet Nancy Carter, right? Yeah, that would be good. Um, also, I wouldn't mind seeing a pro wrestler because you went down, when you went down to Seattle, you met Lita, right? Yes. I would love to meet that pro they wrestler. Never, they never have any pro wrestlers for these shows. It kind of sucks. No, I remember one year I went, I could always hear people joking, and, hey, let's get Eddie Guerrero on. Like years after he had died. Oh, God. That's 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 cruel. Yeah, and then of course, uh, me being a douchebag, I have to jump right in. Hey, why stop there? How about Owen Hart? Yeah. Big, big boss man. Oh, yeah. Or uh, what I want, I would like to meet um, would be um, who I want to meet. If I meet anyone, I want to meet would be would probably want to meet um, Bam Bam. I like him. Yeah. Yoko Zuna. Yeah. Mike, awesome. You know he was he was um, he was a bit of a dickhead for what he did to uh, ECW. Mm -hmm. He was a hell of a wrestler. I do give him props. He was a hell of a wrestler. That guy. He really was. 
he could fly like a cruiserweight, and he was like a 300 pound guy, he could fly like a cruiserweight. Well, that's what I would like to meet at Comic Con, but yeah. that Penny Spell, Chris Benoit. Ha ha ha, that'll never happen. That's, a, that's, a, that's cheap, and I think that's a cheap shot. I, I, I like Chris Benoit, and, and I think what he did was wrong, but I don't remember him for what happened in personal life. I think him as what happened for is what he did in the ring. That's why I think of that. Unfortunately, but he'll, he'll never get into the Hall of Fame, and he should not. No, he shouldn't. You have to agree, he, he shouldn't. Even I agree with that. They should get rid of Sunny, though. She should erase him. Yeah, it's like, like, they don't put China in, but they have no problem with people like, uh... Donald Trump? Uh, like Donald Trump, like Sunny being in, and, um... And, and like, all these other... And uh, didn't Austin beat his wife or something? Yes. Yeah, so it was like... Like, come on, it's just, like... It's, uh, it's Triple H and Stephanie being petty. Yeah. Pretty much. China is the first female intercontinental, champ uh, intercontinental champion, the first uh, woman in the Royal Rumble, and the first woman to fight hey, for the King of the Ring. So she should be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well, stable. Um. I don't know. Well, if Sunny if Sunny, if Sunny can be in, then I'd say Sable should be in too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they're, they're on a similar enough level that I'd say they would. Yeah, if we put in one in each, and put the other in too. Okay, you want to start the veggies? Sure. Or just like a large dice, so like uh, I'll show you. I want the uh, peppers done. Yeah, peel off all the uh, the stickers. Really, we're not going to put the stickers in? No. So I'm going to do this on the fly here. Just cord out. Most of the core out of that. Again, just bang all the seeds away. So real simple, just just like that. Not too big, but it's big enough. How's that? Just like that. All right. Okay. You can do that. Yeah. All right. Giddy Mao, my friend. Giddy Mao. Uh oh, it's my boss Jay Wu. Hey, meat bag. Get back to work. It's my boss. Yeah. He's on right now. He's watching this right now. Hey, Jason. Get back to work, meat bag. I'm warning you. Get back to work. 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 Yeah, he's. He's watching. I'm far, I thought you would be watching it today. So, not much. How's your day off, man? Enjoying the week off, buddy? Hope you're enjoying the week off. You've earned it. So there you go. He's enjoying his week off right now. I've been off for the whole week. Woohoo! I've been off since the first. Lucky you. How long are you off till? The seventh. Oh, nice. I requested um, a week off. That's because how much I've been killing myself in the past couple of years, mentally, or, mentally and or physically. Yeah, I can get some catch up on your sleep finally. Hopefully. I've been I've been doing that all week. Been nice. Catch up on my sleep has been great. What means this sleep? Sleep is for the week. Sleep is for the week anyway. I uh, Vince McMahon would say there's plenty of time to sleep when you're dead. Yeah, so what are you up to uh, today there, uh, meatbag? I got a question for you. What are you up to today, meatbag? Probably he probably working put away in the restaurant, probably working or something. I have a 25. He's, he's actually at work right now, doing something in the hallway. Hi, Bag. He's David. Get it, Meat Bag. Tuck and roll. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you first, Meat Bag. You first. Later, Meat Bag. Get back to work. Yeah, hey, what kind of bag do you want him to meet? <sighs> you're actually you're working. I knew you'd be working. I knew you'd be working today. You, you shouldn't join a day off, you jerk. Should be enjoying your day off, your week off, you jerk. Not slacking in the restaurant all the time. That's why you have a week off. You're not supposed to be in the restaurant all the time. Oi. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a week off when you're in the restaurant, like, 90% of your, your, your time off. You're a meatbag, you know what? No, you vape. I'm 
want to give me a plastic bag, um, a reusable cloth bag, or a duffel bag? Any kind of bag, I don't know. Hey, we can't have music on this, this sucks. We can't have music when we're doing this, this sucks. Yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, he posted a video and he had some music going and Yak Yak got flagged for copyright, so... Yeah, I know. So we had to mute it out. Screw Warner Bros, by the way. Fuck Warner Bros, by the way. They can go to hell. Yeah, because uh, in all honesty, you said YouTube has to abide by these things, otherwise they might get in trouble for allowing it, so... Yeah. We're in the dark, take out the cat. Yuckety yak! Don't talk back. Alright, now I'm singing a song now, god damn it. Now that I actually think they're not allowed to ding you for that because you're the one singing it, so they... But, like, if, if um, if they were able to copyright you, to, like, to knock you for that, then they would have to knock me for all the karaoke videos, videos that post. Yeah, so they'd be, yeah that, that'd, be that'd be a douchey thing to do, by the way. Yeah, so, um, you should be safe singing it. Yeah, that, that would be a douchey thing to do. The... Singing their singing their song that that'd be kind of a douchey thing to do, right? Yeah. They, their a lot of content would be gone from YouTube for. But it's like one of those things where like they they only have a certain level of copyright. But if you're doing it, then you have copyright over yourself. Yep. Why would you do this? So we got Shrizo here. Look at that Shrizo. Nom nom nom. Yum nom nom over. Um nom nom over, yeah, yes I am. Definitely um nom nom over. Definitely am. I want that shirt by the way. I want to find that shirt somewhere. Yeah, the one with the dinosaurs on it? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, there's uh, herbivore, I, carnivore, or, omnivore, and um nom nom, nom over. I want that shirt. It's so me. Oh uh, there's a shirt I would love to get with um there's this meme of um, obvious troll is obvious with a picture of a troll and like a bunch of people. Yeah. I would love to get that on the shirt too. There you go, so, yeah, I, I, if I get that one, I get that part for Lindsay too, probably, more than anything. Yeah. That's, she, she'd love that shirt more than I do, probably. My, my, my hand's getting sore from all this shopping. Ah! My hand's sore. Yeah. I'm tired of you and your cutting remarks. Oh, shut up. God damn it. Why not shut down? Oh, uh, I was uh, doing karaoke a couple weeks ago, someone yelled at me to shut up, uh, and I'm like, on stage about to start my song, it's like, <laughs> really, you're gonna tell me to shut up right before my song? Hell no, I ain't shutting up. <laughs> there you go. I, I was tempted to actually go right up to his door and start singing it. Like, uh, kind of like, uh, doing what you're ready to get machine. Fuck you, won't do what you tell me. Like this. Fuck you, won't burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno, burn baby, burn. Right, right in my face. Ah! Oh, yeah, because it was Disco Inferno, and I know that song so well that I can actually just stand there in his ear. Just piss him off right in his face. All right, I'm going to go over this way, see what Knucklehead's over here doing over here. Get back to work, giddy mal, bitch. Yeah, and Jeff actually is one of my best friends, so. Yeah. There you go, so. Sorry, I had to bug him a little bit here. He's working, so. Give him a little bit of a hard time here. This sucks. No one's watching this right now. We got to get all our, all our, our sausage talk. Yeah, sauce, yeah. That's all you're. You love the sausage, not me. And yet you spend more time talking about it, so that makes me question you. Two words. Go to hell. Um, go to hell is three words. Three words, right, sorry, three words. Go to hell. And you know what, if you're gonna give me the middle finger, I'm flattered you're interested in me that way, but I just don't, I just, I'm not that attracted to you. <laughs> I walk into that, I always see the walk into his, into his insults and bad jokes, don't I? Oh, like, like, like any guy who flips these words, I'm flattered, I just don't feel that way about you. Any girl, you have to buy me dinner first. Anyone, anyone that said yes to buy you dinner? No, probably not. No, no one's bought me dinner yet. No girl has bought me dinner. That sucks. You'll find someone one day. Honestly, number one, I don't buy that. And like, I appreciate you for caring enough about me to think that, but it's just, after 35 years of experience, I just don't believe that anyone will want me. Nope. No one wants you now. Maybe we should just, who would want you? I don't know who would want you. 
So you know, I actually do enjoy being single anyway. You know, because uh, there's a lot of things I like to do that obviously any of you who watch my channel know that I would not get away with if I had a girlfriend. Yeah. Have you seen any of my karaoke videos? I've seen a few, yeah. Any of them from season three? I'm not watching three, I know I'm not. Oh, it's like um, Leslie Gore, Katy Perry, Britney Spears, there's the vinyls. Like all of them are like, in one way or another, like gang songs for me to do. Yeah. Maybe we should do, um, maybe we should do, uh, the, uh, we should do, uh, let's test myself as Donald Trump, that'd be even funnier. I use a folk class before I test myself, that's on season 3. That'd be funny though. Alright, we're done all the sausage, finally. About well, fucking time, we're gonna... So. Now on to the veggies. Nutty veggies. So we're gonna peel off all the, uh, extra parts here. Just gonna... All the extra... Little pieces here we don't need. I'm just gonna pick them off. Not gonna really do anything too special with this. The uh, it's pretty simple. This celery has been done pretty. It's pretty simple. So nothing really too fancy about how we do the celery. Here. So we're gonna do at least two two pots at least. Hopefully. So we'll we'll throw some in both of them, and we'll we'll start with the chorizo. We'll go from there, right? No one's watching again. It might be time to hit the list again. Start running with the list again, I think. What happened? No one's watching. I might feel like somebody watching me. You get no privacy. Oh. Yeah. I might watch me. Oh shit. Sorry. Sorry. I knocked it over and it fell on. Yeah, it fell right over all over my uh, celery. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, someone's watching. Oh, damn. No, I hadn't seen you anymore. Damn. Aw. We, we, we were just about to throw it out too. Rats. Oh, uh, there's this, uh, I have this one co worker. His name is Marcello. Yeah. And so um, I was saying, I always feel like Marcello's watching me. Yeah, nice. No, I actually like music. He was one of the best friends he had working there too, so... Is he going so, with their store or is he quitting? Uh, I think he moved on somewhere else. I haven't seen him in years. Last thing, onions. Or you want to take a little break? Either way. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure where. Like, where are the onions? Funyuns? The onions. Funyuns? Uh, this should be over here somewhere. I don't care. We gotta do more peppers. We gotta do ones. Some more peppers? Yeah. Give them some color. Give them some color. I have a little bit of color with this too. I think I'll do the onions. Not no, onions. Uh oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. We gotta do onions. Onions in movie. A real tearjerker. Uh, I'm gonna start crying my eyes in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Want my mommy. Friends. You're a douchebag! <laughs> You're a douchebag! You're only really now figuring that out! It took you long enough! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, me bag! Or I'll whack you one. No, I wouldn't do that to him. I wouldn't do that to him. So, to get through onions, here's a little, here's a little trick. Go really fast. You can, the faster you get them, the faster you cut through it. Try to go really fast with your onions. Uh oh. Is that you? Yeah, someone's phoning me. You actually have friends? Oh god. Who's phoning you? Well, friend? someone's phoning me. I don't know who. Ba, 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 ba. It's an 800 number. Ignore it. 100, go fuck yourself. I like your, I like your, that's awesome by the way. I like your, your uh, ringtone's awesome by the way. It is, it is an a cappella version of a uh, Guile Team from Street Fighter 2. Yep, dinner, dinner. 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 What's it called? Uh, Guile Team is an a cappella version. Look up Smooth McGrew and you'll find it. Alright, I'll check it out. Hey, did you see uh, any of, did you see the, um, the uh, opening video I did for like a last play? No, I didn't. 
uh, Final Fantasy IV. Like I did, did like a little game like poet sort of thing, but um, uh, nobody watching. So. Aww. That sucks. Oh well, uh, it was a nice experience, but uh, I teamed up with K-Man Cupid on it. K-Man Cupid, who's that? Ah, uh, one, one of my characters. Uh, oh. Uh, you never seen, you never heard of K-Man Cupid? No, I'm not. I'll have to send you uh, one of his videos. I want to check that out. I'll probably send you like uh, one of his like uh, talking videos, and then another one of his. Uh, and another, he makes a, some appearances in. But since I play him, I have to like uh, explain why K Man Cupid is losing weight because I've lost about maybe 50, 60 pounds this year. So it's like, okay, uh, how do I explain K Man Cupid losing weight? Uh, he's on a diet, he's, on, he's gone vegan. No more, ki no more meat for him, he's gone vegan. That'd be, be your excuse. Well, I am. Or, or maybe, like, I have a, thing, like, a, um, a cooking video where it's like, I uh, doing like a vegan recipe. Oh, God! Okay, man, Cupid, go vegan! Come on. Oh, there she is! Hi, Lindsay! Hi! Hi! Hi, honey, how are you doing? So, I'm making jambalaya right now. So, if you missed the video, we got all the. Doing the last of the veggies here. So, just gonna do the onions here. I'm trying not to cry either. <laughs> this goes an asshole. Well, Lindsay has to put up with me. This <laughs> man. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> uh, me. Ugly all day. This is called ugly all day. That's what you should, that's what you should be. Perfume uh, or clone after you called ugly. It's more like garbage and uh, disco. It's my buddy Disco. You, you met him before. He was at the Halloween party. Yeah, I also met you at Stan Expo and um, one time last year when you were, you were going one way and I was going the other. Yeah, I met Fan Expo too. You know the guy. He doesn't bite. He's just really ugly, that's all. Gosh, just really, really ugly. Alright, done the onions. Finally, done the onion. Thank Christ. Oops, pardon my, my swearage. Alright, so... Oil! Roast beef. Nice. Nom noms. I like roast beef. But not both beef. <sighs> Shut up, Disco. Sorry, he does it all the time. I'm used to it. He does a lot of these jokes. Can't be jokes. Sorry. It's just who he is. Are you gonna roast me one day? Get it? You don't roast that guy when you make fun of someone like roasting them? Yeah, you should. So I turn oil in both of them. And then it get really, really hot. So we're not gonna touch it until it gets really, 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 really hot. Then we're gonna add, I'll start searing off our stuff here. I'll show you what I'm up to. Them. So we got our pot. There we go. Freeze oil in one, two pots. So we're doing two pots worth of. Down the line here. Now let that sear off, then we'll start adding our other. Here, I'm just doing Ken. Sorry. Now you too. Hi. Meow. You want them burnt? You want them just nice and brown? So. Once you get a little more stuff in there, we're gonna start turning on the heat pretty quick. Start adding our sauces here. Get our egg gooey. Add our farmer. And our 
garlic. Oh crap, we have way too much. Okay, I think I need way too much. Oh well, the hell with it. So how many uh, times do you want that? I'm open. All of them. All of them, if you have to be possible, please. We have way too much shit. Way too much meat, huh? Yeah, I know what you love. You know what you love, don't love, love a lot of meat. You know what you love a lot of meat in here. Oh. Hi-yo. Hi-yo. Hey-yo. Oh, we're just down a little bit, though. Well, I'll never compare to you, though. They're both full. This is our Cajun spice. So we got here we go on our Cajun spice right here. Here's what we're up to right now. This this is our pot full of uh, jambalaya stuff. So sausages, ham, peppers, onions, and celery. So far, this is what we got so right now. Yeah, it's, they're already full. I'm kind of like, oh crap! I kind of made a mistake with how much we were making. So I made a bit of a boo boo. Oh well, screw it. It's got extra for everyone. We get a little bit to eat. Go on here. So, cake and spice. About a cup or so, give or take. I want to know for the other one. We can do more, so it's not always. We can actually add more if we need to. So all bad here. We need more. We can add more, so it's not not completely out of our. Uh, until we want, until we get the right uh, amount of spice, we can always add more to it. Boy, smell like cake and food already, and it's gonna be good. Turn the coat already, so you wanna basically wanna coat everything if you can. And yes, I apologize for my hands, I apologize for my hands, guys, but it's kinda 
has to be this way. I'm sorry, folks, for who's offended. I lost my hands here. Sorry about that. If anyone sorry to use my hand after they're offended, I do apologize. Alright. Hit me. Hit me. Get some cans in here. Cans. Can opener, opener, but not a can't opener. Ha ha ha, I know what Disco in his uh, really bad puns. And he does a lot of these, folks. He's known to be a punny guy. Very punny person. You are a very punny person. Yep. How's that for you? Not, not bad? Not bad, eh? Not bad? Yeah, not bad. Punnyzilla. I don't advise against this, but since my can opener sucks, I'm doing this because my can opener really does suck. Ow. And that was a big old freaking mess. Want to also you can add water if you want as well. If you don't have enough uh, cans of, uh, you can also add a little water to it. A little trick helps cook everything down faster. I find so. I'm gonna add cheese a little bit. If you need, if you do you can adjust the seasoning. It's just fine. You can adjust the seasoning, so it's it's all right. You can adjust the seasoning, so. Well, lose any of that flavor still, you can still, still be adjusted, folks, so. I don't know how far up we are, anyway, this thing. Maybe big now, but once it gets under, once it starts cooking down, it will get better, so. It will, will, will get a little bit, it's heavy now, but. Once you get a little bit more uh, cooked down, it will get. as bad. And to show you people the amount of cans that um, he's using of tomatoes, see a bunch of hunts here and some unico. Let's see. More right here. Another can. I'm putting it in. Ding and ding. Well, I, look how much they use. So way too much here. Ha ha ha. Yes. Uh, an electric one would be even better. Electric one, I would be happy. Electric ones. I hate. I, I hate the. Uh, I'm probably enjoying the electric can opener for for my for uh, for Christmas for me. It might. Yes. I wouldn't. Electric electric one would be good because I absolutely hate. And I do add some other word. I hate the can can openers. They know me like all hell. Under the, when I get this under, most of it when I get most of it under the uh, the under the, uh, the juice. And as it cooks and it, as it cooks down, it will uh, it'll cook down and it'll cook everything. So, I can show you two pots full, people. Yeah, they say I want to spin around with it. They weren't kidding. Jeez, look how much I left over. Still got a thing for Yeah, still got some. Um, some sausage and some ham left over and some Man, peppers. Are, want some as a go or? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. I'll probably use it for something else probably. Yeah, I think it's pretty good taping for another recipe. You're like, I don't know what to do with it, but something. That's a lot of friggin' jamba. I wasn't, I wasn't kidding when I said I wanted to do that much jamba. I wasn't, I wasn't kidding. Holy crap. I'm kind of scared actually. What do you need? Uh, the peas. They appease me very well. Or, you want world peas. Oh. So we let this in the boil for about... Some peas of mine, man. 
Okay. And we're going to get any space badges at the end. Once we're done, uh, once we're once it's in, in the uh, once we have it in the uh, have this, everything in the in the pot, we're going to these at the very end because it's not going to fit in the pot. So we're going to do them at the very end, and the visual heat will cook them through. So there we go. We got some peas because I love having peas. Add peas to it. Give them some. There we go. I think I'm going to stop the video for a little bit and just. Thank you. So, until next time, folks, I'm Autistic Chef, and this is No Boxing! See you guys later. Peace. Yeah, it's not in the video. It's kind of, I'm kind of tired of it. Yeah. Kind of stop this one, too? Mm, yeah, until we're done. So, it's to the end. For me, it's going to end badly. This is a bad idea. I'm, I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. Gonna end badly on my on my parts. This is a dumb idea and have dumb ideas. Hey, remember the time that the Invisible Man won the Royal Rumble? I think so, yeah. Yeah, like um they're like only 25, nine, 25 uh, 29 men were in the Rumble and then um Big Show was the last one and he just threw himself out and then like no one won the Rumble in 2004. Well yeah. And, right. and and then like Triple H tapped out to nobody. Yep. At WrestleMania. Well, I'm gonna cheat here. So we're doing three pots, not four. Or two. Two and a half. Doing two and a half, looks like. Hey, did you hear about the jambalaya? No. It's not a Jamba Truth Teller. Pardon? It's not a Jamba Truth Teller. Ah, son of a bitch. That's easier. Look at that. Look, a lot better. Not easy to work with these uh, that stuff in the in the pot there. Yeah. You won't spill so much. Pardon? You won't spill so much. Yeah, I know it. Eh? Hey, what's the difference between immoral and illegal? What? What's the difference between immoral and illegal? Uh, what? Illegal is a sick bird. Uh, illegal. Damn, I'll take my good goddamn with that. Fuck. Alright. Dog damn it! God damn. <laughs> they, they no, did. you said god damn it, I said dog damn it. Yeah. God damn. Do my metal voice. God damn. Dog damn! God damn! God damn! I have my middle head. I'm so middle head heart. Good Lord made me sick. There you go. Let's go. I got most of the peppers. Alright, start passing me the uh, passing me the cans of paste, please. Pasty pasty. Alright, pasty face. Thanks, pasty face. Hey, got another one. <laughs> Okay, look at that. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to be a little, a little bit less soupy, but that's kind of the uh, to be able to get a little sheen at the end. It's gonna go to one of my neighbors, so neighbors can have that one. Do I got their Christmas? I got their Christmas present, or yeah. Here we get Christmas. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be Christmas gifts right here. All well, this is gonna be Christmas gifts for uh, people for Christmas because I can't really make them. I can't really buy them a gift. So yeah. my alternative is I cook them a gift. That's the alternative. It's a good deal, right? Yeah. All right. Would you complain if you got something for Christmas? Hmm. Nice, a nice hot meal for Christmas. How would you feel about that? Yeah, I feel pretty good. 
I'm actually looking forward to the chili that you're that you're talking about. Oh, the chili. Yeah, because remember we were talking. I, I specifically. I do. Oh yes. I specifically requested the chili. We do that chili for almost 20 years, maybe that. I don't know, since I was about 13. So, jeez, I've been doing that for, since I started, I did that when I was 13 first time. When I was 13. So, I'm old now. So, almost 20 years. Yeah, almost 20 years. Next year will be 20 years. I've been doing the chili for 20 years. That's, you're 32 now? Yep. Yeah. 33. 33. We'll be 33 next in January, the 33 in January, folks. That's how old I am. I'm old foggy. I turned 35 a couple months ago. Look at that. Look at that sheen. See? Is that a nice little bit of sheen to it? No, see? Is it okay, brings it all together. So it's not like too thick, but tail paste kind of brings it all together. It gives it like a little bit of a sheen. Nice, huh? Thank you, Lucine or Charlie Sheen. Ah, oh, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Sheen, winning, or if in your in your fact, chinning. Have you chinning? Believe it or not, I've I've never really had to worry about the double chin. Do I have one? No. Like I don't see one on you, but um, I've never really had to. My beard is just so thick it looks like it. But if I were to be clean shaven, then you would see I actually don't have to. Look. I I'm nowhere near having one. I know, just give me a hard time. That's done. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that beautiful? Oh, look at that, folks. Do me a favor, get the bread started. I'm going to finish this. Parisian baguette. Yep, that's what we want. Yeah, there's two of them. One each. Grab both of them. There's two of them in there. Mm -hmm. Actually, one for you, one for me each. Stew doesn't advertise. Ha ah, ha. Disco stew. Oh man. I knew you. Yeah, we did that one. That was good. I feel like that one. Disco stew. And now I've got that sheen. See, look at that sheen. Here, bring it in close. See that sheen from the uh, tomato paste? Nice, huh? I didn't see that coming. Ha ha ha. I have to taste this, so that's the raw, it's how we taste it. It 
a little more, more spice to it. What's the spice? Quick spice. Oh, this one. Cajun. A little more, just a little bit, not too much. Yeah. Over to the flavor, right? This is my way of, uh, for people who uh, who don't want, to, who uh, can't afford to buy gifts. This is the alternative. They actually cook them a gift. Yeah. So. Yeah, and like a cookie is because if you can buy like a book enough, you can actually save a lot of money and still make it something really good in quality, right? Yeah. I find bu I I buy I I cook bulk and it's still pretty good, right? It's good quality. I like doing this. Like, uh, this is kind of me being a chef, like. I learned this from like being a chef, right, all the years. And speaking of chefing, I've actually been doing this job 15 years officially. So, yeah. yay for me. Yay for me! 15 years I'm doing this job. Yay for me. Hooray for me. 15 years. Pretty awesome for a guy with autism to be doing this this long. That to me is, hey, that's something, right? Think that is 15 years? <laughs> Oh, so that's the rest for you, right? 15 years? Yeah. yeah. Bread. Once so we have our bread, we're going to also do butter. Butter. Homemade. Come on, you can do butter than that. Oh, <laughs> lordy. God damn it. Okay, I watched that one. Yeah, it's a very slim margarine for error. Oh, Jesus. So, this is lactose free butter, actually. Lactose free garlic herb butter. Myself, actually. So it's lactose free butter, and then it's garlic and herb, and then uh, dry herbs. So, since the girlfriend is lactose free, I do lactose free for her. No, it's, it's a. You know, all this time I thought lactose was expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, lactose free, I, I thought it was expensive. Oh, uh, ha ha ha. I told the same joke about gluten free. That's a big portion. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Look at that, folks. That, folks, is jambalaya with five kinds of with five kinds of sausage. Read that. Five andouille, chorizo, garlic coil, farmer, and Mennonite. And ham, plus by force ham to go with that. So that is a killer. This is meant to kill people. I think that's all I'm going for this one. Boom. Boom with the dynamite, folks. So six kinds of meats. Yep. If they can't do seafood, Michael will go crazy on the meats. That looks pretty though. Isn't that look pretty? Yep. I like the size, the portion size, I like the uh, bowls of nice though with it though, okay? The bowls of nice though? Ikea. Yeah. I say Ikea, Ikea bowl. Let me check the bread. The bread, yeah, it's done. A little crusty, you might be a little crusty? Yeah, it's, it's okay if it's crusty. Like a uh, crusty crab like you? You're a crusty crab, right? You're a crusty crab, right? Hmm. Well, no, you are. Who lives in that pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob, oh, you, SpongeBob, you suck, SpongeBob, you douchebag. No, I don't hate SpongeBob. I like to say SpongeBob spherical pants. I, I just like to be different like that sometimes. Ha ha ha. But technically, if he's three dimensional, wouldn't it be cube pants? Yeah. So, just like that finish. And there you go, jambalaya. That's jambalaya right there. Piece of bread on the on, on the edge to be really fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fancy schmancy, yeah, yeah. You can just cut it on a, on a bias here. This is how we do it at work. So, just, just go ahead and serve it just like this. Cut into about like three quarters of the way through with, the, with your bread knife. That's 
it. Just like that. And bon appetito. There you go. That is jambalaya, folks. That's how you do it. So, until next time, folks. I am the autistic chef, David Leakey. And get in the camera, you jerk. I am the autistic chef, David Leakey. And I am in the box of the world winning the boxing. We will see you next time. Peace, folks. Peace. Alright, that's it.